Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Aries. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be for January 22nd through the 24th. This is going to be a look at the energies you guys are going to be experiencing during this time frame. So let's get it popping, Aries. Um, also, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you do want a personal, check out the description box. My website will be listed there, okay? Aries, January 22nd through the 24th. It's the energy they're going to be experiencing. All right. So we have the King of Swords representing the overall energy. We have the Queen of Cups representing your current energy. The challenge is the Ten of Cups. The advice from your spirit guides is the tower. And then the outcome of this time frame is the nine. I mean, the hangman, excuse me. Give me a card for Aries, for energy surrounding them during this time frame. Energy surrounding Aries during this time frame. Ooh. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this energy, Aries. So the first card is the King of Swords, and this is the overall energy. And for some of you, your, your energy could be being affected by a air sign, so a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Or if this is you guys adopting more of these type of qualities. So this is being brutally honest with yourself, being brutally honest with other people around you as well about what you think um, and deep down what you know. And this is also you guys really cutting certain energies or even habits out of your life and making more logical decisions in terms of what makes the most sense for you. Um, and this is really cutting energies out of your life that like that's the main energy I'm getting with this King of Swords. This is like cutting people off or not even entertaining like the same low vibrational stuff. So low vibrational conversations, things like that. Hmm. Also, during this time frame, you could have an interesting conversation with someone. And through this conversation, you really get a piece of understanding of what they truly feel about you as well. That's another thing that came through. But um, continuing with this reading with the Queen of Cups representing your current energy. Um, some of you guys could be being affected by a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Or again, you're adopting these qualities where emotionally you could be. You could find yourself being a little bit more emotional during this time frame or some of you are starting to notice that your emotional needs are not being quite met romantically. So there could be a type of partner that you're looking for, a partner who is going to be open to you and emotionally available and all that stuff. And you could be feeling like you're not getting that. And this could be something that you're you're kind of tired of, okay? Hmm. Also with this Queen of Cups energy, you could be wanting to express how you feel to somebody specifically. So you could even be, like I said, this may be a time frame of letting people know how you, how you feel. Now, when it comes to the obstacle, I do have the Ten of Cups. So the obstacle may be family. There may be some family stuff going on that you may feel like you, you need to kind of look over like a parent or your parents may be going through like a divorce or something. And this may be weighing on you. Um, this is also your family like the person you may have children with and the family unit and may be in kind of a, a, a sense of a shamble. Somebody who you may be married to, their 
family, like your in-laws may be meddling. That may be a problem for you or it could be vice versa. Again, the theme is family. So something to do with family. And for some of you, this is just more of your personal happiness. And making sense of what exactly would make you truly happy. Now, the advice, I do have the tower. So this is looking at whatever unstable situation you have in your life right now, whether this is a relationship, a job, even your mindset, okay? This is looking at what exactly in the foundation of your love life, your you know emotional instability, whatever it may be, what exactly is causing this? What is the root of this? And immediately working on whatever the problem is. Because for a lot of you with this tower energy, this is something that's bound to fall apart or about to fall apart. And that's because something's not either like it was never built correctly in the first place or something's falling apart because it's not being properly maintained. So if this is your relationship falling apart because it's not being properly maintained, you need to look at whether or not it can be repaired or if there's if it's beyond repairable. But being brutally honest with yourself is going to be necessary to do this process. Now, the last card is the hangman. And this is going to represent the outcome. So Aries, the outcome of this time frame, it may be a little bit of stagnant energy. And when I say stagnant, um, this is not stagnant in the sense where things are not moving for you. This is more of you guys either taking a, a slight break and you may be, you know, feeling lethargic a little bit. So you may be dragging your feet. Um, for some of you, if you're waiting for a response from someone or an indication on what you guys are going to do with the connection, things may be on pause. Some of you guys even may be pausing a relationship in particular, and some of you, if you actually are experiencing like stagnation in your life, this may be you needing to change your perspective in regards to your situation or things may be stagnant for a reason. Now, some really good cards that I see here, we have luck is on your side and we have sovereignty. So with both of these cards, I feel like they're very much connected. You guys are very lucky. Things that are going to take place during this time frame overall will still very much benefit you and I feel like you guys are still going to be able to attract really good things to you during this time frame um, it's just making sure you guys are taking more control over your situation I feel like a lot of you Aries are with the sovereignty card this is like really stepping into a level of independence so this energy looks really really good for my Aries I hope that you guys use this energy to the best of your ability and that you enjoy the next couple of days. If you did like this reading, thumbs up this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Check out the description also if you want a personal. All right, bye Aries.